Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'd like to welcome you guys all to another Lions Leadership Program. I also want to congratulate all the new members in this industry. You just made the right choice in joining this industry. Whatever respective company you guys are in, you guys made the right choice. And later on, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung bakit tama ang decision. I will go over and explain some important facts about networking. Just to formally introduce myself, ako po si Herbert Arbacod, and I'm the founder and president of Leaders in Organized Networking. And I always believe the formula in having a successful life is simply having a consistent, successful day. Now, balik bayan po ako, so I go back and forth from here in Philippines since I was a kid. I was born in Portsmouth, Virginia, USA. I was raised in Long Beach, California. I lived in Las Vegas for about eight years. Now, bakit nandito ako sa Philippines? Well, of course, it's more fun in the Philippines. If you guys get to know me a little bit more, you would know the real reason why I'm here in the Philippines. And for the people that knows me, alam nila kung bakit nandito ako. First of all, I always believe, and this is my philosophy, that it doesn't matter where you are in the world, as long as you're dedicated at me consistency ka, sigurado, kaya mo maging successful kahit saan ka sa mundo. We are living in a global economy, and it doesn't matter what location you guys are in. What really does matter right now is where your mind is at and where your mind is located. Now, to start this presentation, I like to talk about dreams. Karamihan, kaya pumasok sa networking is dahil sa mga pangarap nila. They want to live life with their loved ones and they want to live it to the fullest. I believe you guys all could agree with that. We'll talk about my dreams for the sake of saving time kasi hindi ko kayo nakikita. Pero you'll find it interesting that lahat ng pangarap natin magkakaparehas lang pero different branding. Here are my short term goals. Gusto ko rin magkaroon ng kotse, Hyundai Elantra na color white. I also want to get married soon and the place that I want to get married is at Boracay. Beach Resort. Uh, diba? Ang ganda. My first condo, I want my first condo at the Pearl Place in Ortigas. Now, so mga tao na kasal na, you guys can agree with me, you would want a good silver anniversary. My long-term goals is, gusto ko magkaroon ng bahay sa Corinthian Hills or Corinthian Gardens. I also want to buy a house in Las Vegas, so every time I go back to Las Vegas, I always have a place to stay in. I also want to own a big business someday. I also want a Montero Sport or a Fortuner. I also want a Mercedes Benz. I also want big savings. And I also want to travel around the world. Now, tanong ko sa inyo, if you look at my set of goals and dreams, you can see that our dreams is similar. It's all the same, it's just different branding because they're all the same price. Maniniwala ba kayo? Na walang silbe ang lahat ng pangarap na yan kung wala kang happy family. That's the reason why we work hard every day and that's the reason why nangangarap tayo is because we want our happy family. We also want our family to live the life, to live a joyful and prosperous life. Can you guys all agree with that? Okay. My mentor told me that kaya maraming tao hindi nakukuha pangarap nila kasi hindi nila pinepresyo ang pangarap nila. Wala silang target kung magkano ang kailangan nila. If you guys said that your dreams and my dreams are similar and it's 100%, yung pangarap nyo po is a total of 71.2 million pesos. Tanong ko sa inyo, pag nag-stay ka ba sa current job mo ngayon, kailan mo makukuha ang pangarap mo? Alam mo, simple lang ang sagot dyan. Never. 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 Hindi na hindi mo makukuha ang pangarap mo pag naging empleyado ka. Bakit? Ito yung research study na pinakita sa US is called the three income brackets. Everyone is all affected by these three income brackets. The first income bracket is the poor income bracket. Ito yung mga uh, tambay or empleyado. Linear income sila, paycheck to paycheck. Pag sumahod sila, less expense, nagkakautang po sila. Pag wala naman utang, wala silang savings. Now, the second income bracket is what we call the fair income bracket. Ito yung mga self-employed, yung mga may kalendirya, may mga um, sari-sari store, or, may mga, or yung mga dentist at mga doctor na self-employed. Ito yung mga empleyado din, mga tulad ng operations manager and uh, mid-level managers. Now, income less expense, nagkakasavings po sila. If you want to get your dreams, everyone has a target to become an excellent income bracket. Why is that? If you are your own owner and you are a boss, 
and you own your own business, you will have residual income, meaning unlimited po ang income nyo as long as you work hard, have the right team, and have the right plan. Income less expense, nagkaka-savings kayo, at may panggasos pa kayo sa luxury things like buying luxury cars, luxury bags, luxury shoes, luxury trips, luxury, eh, you name it. Huwag kayo tumutok ag magstay sa poor income bracket. Kailangan nyo humakbang pumunta sa excellent income bracket. Kasi isa din sa mga sekreto sa mga excellent income bracket, sa mga may-ari ng mga big business, is the law of leverage. Here's one of the secrets to success. Let's say, may-ari ka na sarili mong negosyo. You have 8 hours a day. But because of law of leverage, pag nag-hire ka ng mga tao mo, mga empleyado mo, you don't have just 8 hours a day. If you calculate all of that 8 hours, you have a total of 184 hours per day. E paano sa mga malalaking company like Honda or Toyota that has thousands of employees? That's 8,000 hours per day. Yung mga multi-billionaires sa buong mundo, they have 8 million hours per day. Now here's my question. How can you say you're gonna get rich sa pagiging empleyado kung walang oras lang per day at limited ang oras mo? Now ito lang naman mga path natin eh. Choose your path. You wanna have the security, you wanna have a stable income. Sige, maging empleyado ka, you retain your job, enjoy your yearly bonuses and increments pero you'll work from 9 to 5 till you're 70 plus years old. If you choose the freedom route which is start your own business, maraming maraming obstacles po yan. Magsa-start ka ng sarili mong business, iisipin mo kung anong industry papasukin mo, kung anong products, and so on and so on. Mag-raise ka pa ng capital, malaki po ang kailangan po ng capital pag magtatayo ka ng negosyo. Imagine mo, mahina na po ang 500,000 pesos. You need at least 1 million pesos to put up a decent business. You have to build your own team, mag-hire ka ng mga empleyado, invest in your leverage income, and then you could retire young and rich. Tanong ko sa inyo, May pera ba kayo? Alam nyo ba kung anong negosyo tayo itatayo nyo? Kung hindi, pwede naman kayo mag-franchise. McDonald's, Jollibee, Chow King, or KFC. The major problem in franchising is this. Napakalaki po ang capital po kailangan. Kailangan nyo ng 30 to 60 million pesos. And then you build your own team, you'll invest in your leverage income, and you will retire young and rich. Pero paano mo mapunta sa freedom route? E kung nasa poor income ka nga. Sabi nga mga tao eh, kaya nga nag-iipon ako eh. Kaya nga ako nagiging empleyado para mag-iipon ako, para magnegosyo ako. E paano ko nga nga makaipon pag nasa bracket ka pa ng poor income bracket? Kung eto ang cycle mo, never ka makaipon. How are you gonna break that cycle? What kind of business are you gonna put? Kung na-break mo naman yung cycle mo, nagkaroon ng milagro at nanalo ka ng loto. Anong klaseng negosyo itatayo mo? Magja-jolly bee ka ba? Magdo? Magtatayo ka ba ng salon or supermarket? Ito pa isa pang tanong. May experience ka ba? Do you have the management skills to lead a team and to lead a company para maging ayos ang lahat? Do you have the capital? Where can you find smart and talented people? Kaya yung mga valedictorian sa La Salle, UP, Ateneo, at all these major universities like Harvard, bago sila mag-graduate, marami ng corporation lumalapit na sa kanila para i-offer sila ng magandang salary. Dito sa Philippines, sa mga malupit na mga talented and smart people na ganyan, some of them gets offered 150,000 pesos as their starting per month. They also get offered a car. May pabahay pa. Imagine mo, ikaw ang boss at alam mo kailangan mo magaling na empleyado para magtrabaho para sa'yo. Saan ka makakuha ng pera para makabayad na 150,000 pesos? At bibigay ka pa ng kotse na 220,000 pesos down payment? Babayaran mo pa yon 18,000 pesos per month for the next 5 years? Kung ikakash nyo po yan, you have to put out 950,000 pesos cash. Now the reason why these big corporation offers this to the best people is because they know pag magaling ang mga tao sa ilalim nila, yayaman at payaman ang kompanya nila at corporation. That's why there's a lot of people that gives up hope is because they look at all of this stuff and all of the obstacles na nakikita nila at nakikita na parang wala nang pag-asa na umasenso at yumaman. I have good news for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. There is another route. Instead of starting your own business and going into franchising, you could actually get into network marketing. Because with network marketing, 
you are past the start your own business, past the raising capital, diretso ka po sa pag-build your own team, and invest in your leverage income, and you can retire young and rich. Imagine mo napakaganda ang network marketing. Kasi they solve everything for you. Anong klaseng negosyo? From this industry sa network marketing, sagot na nila mga overhead expenses mo. Sa, sa accounting, sa mga staff, sa mga IT programmers, so on and so on. Products, they have it. In this industry, yung ibang network marketing, may mga appliances, yung iba, food supplements, yung iba, skin care, so on and so on. Ang dami po ang product na hinahawak po ngayon ng multi-level marketing. Pag nag-sign up ka, naging member ka, may office ka pa. Libre. Hindi ka na magbabayad ng electricity, aircon pa yung office mo na yan. May magandang upuan pa, may magandang trainer pa doon. Imagine mo yun. Yan ang kagandahan ng network marketing. Yung experience, you don't need it. We know you don't have no experience. So what we do is, pag bago ka pa lang, we encourage you to bring your people to the office so we can talk to your people. This is the reason why you can still earn while you learn. Capital, sa totoo lang, you don't need this big capital. 500,000, 1 million pesos up to 30 million pesos. Because with a small amount of capital that you get, you could earn massive amount of income. Where can you find smart and talented people? Your upline leaders and the mentors and the superstars that's making millions of millions of millions of pesos in this industry. Those are your mentors. Imagine mo, napakaswerte nyo. Napakagaling po mga tao na yan. They have achieved that success and they're willing to teach you the secret to become successful sa negosyo natin. At imagine mo, sa loob ng maliit na puhunan mo, hindi mo sila babayaran ng 150,000 pesos per month, 950,000 pesos worth of car, at hindi mo na sila kailangan ipabahay. Imagine nyo yung offer ng multi-level marketing, network marketing. Sa tingin mo ba, you have a better chance to get your dreams? Yes. Work hard, do it right, stay close to successful people so they can teach you the ways of success. Now, this is the reason why I love network marketing. So, sobrang ganda ng industry nito. It's an equal playing field where everyone could really work from the bottom and work their way from the top. Kaya ito ang pinakamaganda sa industry nito. Sa mga tao na wala pang alam, please do your research a little bit more. Maraming bumabaksak sa negosyo nito because maraming tamad. Pero the people that is hardworking, I could guarantee you as long as you do it right, do it with your heart and listen to the right people and successful people. Don't listen to the people that did not make it in this industry. Kasi wala naman talaga silang alam. So sa mga baguhan, this is a whole new journey for you guys. So I recommend that you guys watch the video I made in order. The first video is the law of philosophy and principle. The second video is the laws of momentum. And the third video is the laws of action. And the fourth video I made is the laws of duplication. Yung apat na video nito, ipapaliwanag sa'yo yung four levels in multi-level marketing. This is a must for all new members in this industry to watch and internalize para alam nyo yung business model natin. So guys, it's about that time where I have to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video clips that I made for you guys. And again, ako po si Herbert R. Bacod. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you guys all. And you may all you guys have a wonderful day. God bless and happy networking.